my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, this evening we are rededicating our Divine Rotary Center and uh, all the spiritual activities around it to Lord our God. Why this rededication? We know very well because we were under flood. Our retreat center was taking a whole bath under water. And we have to rededicate it so that it may be again at our, at our service. In the first reading, we heard the prayer of Solomon at the dedication of the first temple of Jerusalem, which he built by the toil and moil of 70 years. We know that this temple was desecrated and destroyed by in Nebuchadnezzar. And afterwards it was built at the time of Ezra and Nehemiah. As you know, after the return from the Babylon captivity with the help of Cyrus the Persian king. And uh, this rededicated church or temple of Jerusalem was also destroyed later. Our Jewish brethren are still praying for a new temple. If this is the history of the people of God, the destruction that comes in between during our pilgrimages are only stepping stones for the people of God to attain our uh, eternal salvation. These days we had so many meetings and so on, prayer sessions. One young man asked me, why this flood? Why God uh, sends uh, destruction like this? And then I said, uh, why do we have uh, sicknesses? Some little ones, some very serious ones, some uh, dangerous ones. You know about cancer, you know about AIDS, you know about uh, heart attacks and so on. Why God sends all this? That is because quite natural that uh, man during his uh, life gets these sicknesses. Then I told him it is quite natural also for our uh, loving earth and also for the whole cosmos to have sicknesses. Flood is a sickness, a serious sickness of the earth. Earthquake is another. The soil erosion is still further. Soil erosion is something like a, 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 what we call a, only a simple um, yellow ocean. Yellow ocean. A cold, a little cold that comes. But a kind of uh, soil erosion due to what we call uh, an earth splitting is almost like a typhoid. And then the young man told me, oh, is it so, like that? As I said, sin has affected not only we human beings, but also the whole creation. Haven't you read uh, in the letter of St. Paul that uh, the whole earth is groaning 
for its perfection the whole earth the whole creation is groaning within and it is like that each of us are really craving from within and is suffering for our uh, uh, perfection all that comes as suffering for us due to illness due to our spiritual failures which are called sins all these are really before god nothing but our way to perfection every loss is simply a preparation for the gain that will come afterwards if there was no flood there should not have been a rededication ceremony here we should have gone as usual with all our normal activities but the lord wanted a full a stop not a full stop a stop to rethink ourselves and to restart and i tell you by the grace of god we will we will rebuild uh, this divine retreat center much more beautiful than what it was before your hand is for the grace of god eh? not for my words or neither for uh, for our ambitions the grace of god will work it out he will work it out as the government of kerala is trying to build a kerala much better than what it was before the lord will build here a divine retreat center much more a spiritual a spiritual house of all the people of the world this will be a new spiritual jerusalem where all the pilgrims from all over the world will come this is not simply words which i said to satisfy you your personal thinking it is a real reality if we have faith in god things will happen he will create a divine retreat center for the glory of god and for our salvation here in this place hallelujah 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 my dear brothers and sisters this is what we restart today our earth the part of earth in kerala was having a typhoid that's all it was having a illness and we all had to be part in it our father panikel had to come climb to the two uh, roof of one of the houses here and uh, request uh, help from the people and all rusted the place and our people inside were saved you know that and this kind of experiences are really experiences of salvation externally we were saved from the flood but internally or spiritually we are saved from the, our shipwreck our spiritual shipwreck the lord wants to rethink that we may revive renew ourselves in the spirit of the lord and be strengthened by his grace this is what the lord wants and so as a solomon prayed may your eyes he asked god be on vigil on this house that whoever prays to this house turning towards this house be blessed by you that was his prayer you know that our muslim brethren will pray taking a direction towards the mecca and they know that god is blessing from there all those who believe in him all those who believe in allah in god is blessed by him that was a semitic thinking that where the lord resides if the people turn to that house 
he will be blessed solomon was praying for that as i said to this spiritual jerusalem not only those who turn to this uh, spiritual house but all those who are coming here will be filled with the grace of the lord and thereby become a spiritual powerhouse for the whole world for the church in india and for the church universe this is what we have to aim at we had these dreams always and the dreams are coming realities now itself there are people who have come all over india and from other countries and this representation is really a new pentecost a new pentecost that is going to reign in this house day after day hereafter don't think about or worry about this material loss that we had i think it is almost uh, some 40 50 crores you have might have lost i have not calculated it i am accounting from my rough estimate i know that all the living realities except men uh, have gone to the depth of the sea and they say that now there is a good fish harvesting nowadays because the fish in the sea got very good food from the kerala they are eating and flourishing to within two weeks they have come in good numbers to the sea shore that the people could catch it on my way also i saw fish everywhere so one loss another gain my dear friends God's providence has not left us. Let us not take this as a tragedy. It was a blessing. A blessing in disguise. And what was in disguise will be discovered by us by and by. And these fathers who are in charge, our the father Valura and father Pudua, all these people will say, oh, it was good that the flood came. the flood came and we are really blessed by god 100 times 1000 times than we expected it will happen don't think that uh, he i can come here and say and go no these are words which will become a reality my dear brothers and sisters this is one of the spiritual houses which i keep always to my heart not only myself Bishop Joseph Bernard on this morning in my house there at Mount St. Thomas also was telling the reality. He was telling me, referring to certain realities that happen outside, he said, Pidave, if we call like that, you know, there should be really a turning towards the word of God and to the sacraments and to the spiritual renewal, then all these problems will be solved. Solved means will be cured will be our people will be strengthened in faith in all the evil happenings that happen around us there is lack of faith there is lack of understanding the spirit of the gospel the love that we should have one another not the enmity these events are inculcating enmity inculcating uh, what we call revenge towards one person or another these realities have to be cleared and only by the grace of god this will be realized and we are really to look for that and our retreat center here our spiritual power house here will help us in future for this uh, revival today i have seen the salvation for israel we heard in the gospel simon saying yes today we have seen the salvation for india the salvation for all those who come over here and to our uh, people related to us and all those who are entrusted to our, our spiritual care in the coming synod for the youth huh? the proposed theme is to have uh, faith and discernment of vocation and this faith and discernment is an ongoing process in which we have to accompany one another we have to 
consider one another as brothers and sisters not as enemies and today we have to be in that spirit of uh, brotherhood of fellowship of communion of concern for one another and love and mercy for one another that we have to ready rededicate our re divine retreat center i was i am reminded of this morning also i said about it they about david these days that thought is always coming my, to my mind david although he had his personal failures after becoming king during his first years after his first anointing he had two anointings one by samuel and the other way it is said in the bible that by the whole people of israel anointed him and that uh, life in between of his first anointment and second anointment he had so many obstacles that he had to surmount even his own king was considering him as an enemy but he always respected the king calling him the anointed you are the anointed so i consider myself as your servant that was the attitude of david david was sought by uh, saul as you know uh, as you know to be killed but even in the same camp they were sleeping uh, sleeping they would take a, a little tip of the gown of uh, saul and escapes and shows him as a proof that even though you were seeking for my life even when i was able to take your life i respected you as my king as my anointed my dear friends the enemies may be close to our toes may be protecting us our friends but they may be very very close but we have to spare them because of the love for god because of the mercy that god has given to us as a divine grace and this is what christian love and mercy a love that extends all the barriers it embraces even the so called enemies there is no enemy in this world everybody is a close friend to the heart once we discover his the love that is in his heart and this discovery is that what we have during the retreats and also during the prayers during the holy celebrations of the qurbana and so on which we have here and that was be our experience every day once a boy altar boy after uh, doing the tourable service he came to me in the sacristy and asked why do you uh, Uh, to uh, use the tourable just when the priest reads the gospel why do we incense the gospel i said you see simply because it is the word of god when the reader or the lector is proclaiming in the word of god this word of god is the presence or the life and spirit of god that is being proclaimed and we are in the really listening to god and god is coming to our hearts through our ears and this is one a very spiritual service that we are doing so as we are in sensing the holy sacrament of the uh, holy eucharist so also we are in sensing the word of god which is the presence and action of god then the boy said is it so rich like that thing or are you making this story i said no i am not making this is the fact this is the fact the word of god has the power to break through our ears and to in enter into our hearts and convert ourselves become children of god boys and girls of god children of god then he said yes then i will do it every day then i shall do it every day so these are the things which we have to discover i am not simply saying about the incensing but the power of the word of god the power of the sacraments the power of prayer whereby god our father is guiding us as children 
through the power of the holy spirit i when i was coming our brother brother and sister was singing about the power of the spirit power of god come down power of god come down what is this power this power is the holy spirit this is the power with which god our father created this world this is the power which was active in our lord jesus christ through which he acted our redemption the power when we, i was a young boy uh, uh, there was a preaching a sermon given by one of my assistant parish priest till i remember that and there the preacher was saying that holy spirit is the forgotten god that means before the time of council vatican 2 there was still very little speaking or homilies about the holy spirit and so he was qualified as a forgotten god actually he was not forgotten by god himself but we ourselves forgot him but there is a revival of the holy spirit and this revival has to become our revival our renewal and thereby gaining the power of god for our own sanctification and for the sanctification of the whole world so during the floods if we have lost anything i tell you my brothers and sisters we will gain more and more in the coming days and thereby gain the strength of the holy spirit and become really renewed in the power of god and this power is enough for us this is more than enough for us this spiritual force is more than enough for us and let that spiritual power work in this center for in all the programs here and may develop in a way which god desires for the time being maybe the way the retreat center developed had to be a little reformed that is may, that may be the reason i tell you the organizers that he gave this flood to rethink about the new form within which we have to work under by the grace of god for a new divine retreat center our divine retreat center will be the second jerusalem which was the second jerusalem temple which was built during the time of nehemiah and let that not be destroyed we were not completely destroyed the even the flood was little was little merciful to us it could have been much more than this also it could have been a flood uh, like, uh, during the time of uh, noah no the whole world should have been under water but that has not happened and so let it be now when i speak here when you are listening to me there is a cyclone going on in the uh, united states so the earth has a uh, pain typhoid cancer all these problems here and there now and then so let us pray that god's providence may keep us always in strength in the power of the holy spirit and guide us through his ways may mary mother of god our mother who was really praying for us before the sun what is what are you doing please come to the help of the people of kerala she was doing it and the lord came at the right time the storm was over the rains are over now the other climate has started people has begun to say oh what a heat that is our nature whatever comes we have only complaining times so let us praise the lord so that we may understand these whims and fancies of the nature as our own failures and shortcomings and then accept the nature also as saint francis of assisi as a brother or as a sister and let us be united with the whole creation and also with the whole humanity to praise the god may god bless us hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah.